In this demonstration, we're going to give you an overview of the new ArcGIS Pro ribbon-based interface. We're going to focus primarily on just the interface itself uh, and kind of uh, introduce you to the different options that you'll find on the ArcGIS Pro interface. And then in later demonstrations, we'll go into more detail on some of the specific uh, tabs and, and buttons and tools that you'll find on those particular tabs. Um, so, um, so this is uh, the general interface for ArcGIS Pro with a project already having been opened. All right, you can see at the top here that I have a project called EX2A and I have a map open for this particular project. Uh, so this is the ArcGIS Pro uh, interface from the perspective of already having a project opened. Now if you've never used ArcGIS Pro before or you know, it's the first time that you've used it, the interface will look a little bit different the first time you open it and I'll kind of show that in a um, in a uh, in an additional demonstration that I'll do later. But this is from the perspective of having a project already open. Um, so uh, we'll just kind of take this from a top-down approach uh, and focus uh, at least initially on this very top um, toolbar. This is what we call the quick access toolbar. Uh, there's a, a, a fairly defined uh, set of buttons that you can use uh, primarily for doing things like uh, creating a new project, uh, opening an existing project, saving your current project. There are also buttons here for undo operations, for redo operations. And uh, I've added an additional uh, tool here for, for search functionality as well. Now on the far right hand side of the quick access toolbar uh, is the ability to customize your quick access toolbar. And if you click on that, what you'll see is a number of different options here, including the default options. Now I, I added locate on my own. So do uh, it just to kind of illustrate how you add and remove things here. It's just a matter of clicking on these additional uh, items. Uh, some of these items will, will be provided, provided to you by default, so things like rectangular zoom in. Some of these buttons are, are what Esri assumes there's going to be common, you know, common additions uh, to that quick access toolbar. So, for example, if I want to add rectangle zoom in, I would click on that and you'll notice that it adds a new uh, tool called rectangular zoom in to that quick access toolbar. Um, now, there are other ways you can customize this as well. Uh, if you click on more commands, uh, that will open up uh, your project options uh, and provide you with uh, different options here for adding uh, different commands uh, to that uh, quick access toolbar. So a lot of options here for adding additional functionality to that quick access toolbar. <clears throat> um, you can do other things as well from here, including customizing the ribbon. <clears throat> you can minimize the ribbon as well, or if you minimize the ribbon, then your ribbon goes away. Right? And so, you know, you, if you want to conserve space, you might want to do that. And you can always undo that. You can do the same thing uh, from the far right hand side of your screen in terms of minimizing and maximizing. But that's your quick access toolbar, right? It's just a, a limited set of buttons and tools that allow you to uh, do basic operations primarily with, uh, with the project in mind, all right? Open, save, create new projects, things of that sort. Now down just below that is your, uh, the ribbon itself. Uh, and the ribbon is composed of both tabs and a ribbon of buttons and tools. The default tab is gonna be the map tab. And you can see on the map tab, which I have activated at this point, uh, the ribbon contains uh, buttons and tools related to working with the map itself. So I have some navigation tools, clipboard tools, layer tools, selection tools, uh, and a few other things here as well. Uh, you will never see more than just one ribbon of buttons and tools at any given time in ArcGIS Pro, uh, uh, which I think is a good thing, right? It, it limits the, the cluttering of your interface, which you would sometimes get with ArcMap, right? In ArcMap, you could add as, as many toolbars as you want at any given time. And so it's very easy to wind up with a fairly cluttered display. Um, in ArcGIS Pro, with this ribbon-based interface, which is um, the same concept as what Microsoft has done with its uh, products recently, you know, PowerPoint and Word and Excel. Pro follows that same uh, user interface format where you never have any more than just one ribbon of tools active at any given time. Now, as you select different tabs, uh, for example, if I select the analysis tab, the ribbon changes at that point. So now at this point, uh, my ribbon has been switched out and now what I'm getting are uh, tools related to doing analysis. Right? So I can access my geoprocessing pane, the history tab, Python, model builder, a whole set of tools here for doing analysis work. All right, so each tab that you select, right, whether it's the share tab, the imagery tab, uh, the editing tab, view tab, all of these are default tabs 
uh, provided uh, through the ArcGIS Pro interface. But the map tab is going to be the, uh, the default tab when you are uh, working with a map. Now as we kind of move down, right, on the far left hand side of your screen is the, going to be the contents pane, uh, also known as the table of contents. And uh, this is very similar to the way it is in ArcMap with a few additions. Uh, you'll notice that you have a row of buttons across the top of the contents pane. The default is going to be list by drawing order. List by drawing order just lists out the layers that you've added to your, the current map. Uh, along with you know how they've been symbolized and check boxes that you can use to turn layers on and off as needed. Uh, there's also a list by data source button. This is essentially the same thing, but it also gives you an indicator of where uh, these layers have come from. So you can see, and there's a hierarchy here, right? If you can click the little arrows here, you can see that these layers, right, under, uh, let me just kind of expand that a little bit. So under this Tripville geodatabase, I've got a list of, of layers, right? Creeks and streams, lakes and ponds, city limits, parcels. It's just telling you that all of those layers are coming from this geodatabase. Same thing applies to uh, map services as well. Uh, here I have just one map service uh, that is uh, defining my base map, the topographic base map. But again, it'll tell you where those layers are coming from. Uh, moving down, right, we get to list by selection. This is going to present you with a list of all the layers that have been added to your map. And then you simply use the checkboxes to define uh, which of these layers should be selectable and not. So for example, if I want to make parcels the only selectable layer, I would turn off the other layers. And now when I create a selection set, uh, the only layer that will uh, participate in that selection set would be the parcel layer. You'll also get a numeric indicator out to the right hand side of the layer that will tell you how many features from that layer are currently selected. Now the buttons that are new uh, to ArcGIS Pro include list by editing. Uh, we'll go into uh, more details of editing in, in future demonstrations, but um, edit, the, the editing workflow in ArcGIS Pro has changed quite a bit from the way, you have, the way it was in ArcMap. Uh, in ArcMap, you would start an edit session, perform your edits, and then stop the edit session. And each edit session would apply to one workspace at a time. Uh, in ArcGIS Pro, the concept of edit sessions no longer applies. Uh, in essence, editing is, is always uh, enabled. Uh, it's going to be up to the end user to define, uh, of course, which layers will be editable. So you simply go through the checkboxes here and define which layers you want to make editable uh, and not. Now for layers that you don't have permissions to edit or that are not in a format that's editable, you'll see a little red exclamation point out to the right hand side. If you mouse over it, it will tell you why that layer is not editable. In this case, it's a base map, so it's in a format that uh, doesn't is not conducive to doing editing. Uh, now there may be situations where you don't have permissions to edit a layer as well. Uh, your permissions are based on your login. Right? And right now I'm not signed in, but based on the information that you've signed in to uh, with uh, ArcGIS Pro, it's going to compare that to any permissions that may be set uh, to your individual layers and tables. And then, you know, if you don't have permissions to edit those layers or tables, then you would also see a red exclamation point. Uh, and again, we'll go into a lot more detail in, in future demonstrations on editing. Uh, we also have list by snapping, uh, which kind of goes hand in hand with editing. Again, just a list of layers here defining which layers you want to make snappable uh, during that editing process. And then the last button here is list by labeling. And this presents you with a list of all the layers that are part of this map along with their label classes. Right? Each layer can have multiple label classes. Each label class can be set up to uh, provide unique labeling characteristics for that layer. And so uh, you can go in here and very quickly turn uh, labeling on and off as needed. I'll just kind of zoom in here real quick so you can kind of get an example of this. So for the parcel layer, turn parcels on and off. I only have one class defined. Every, every layer has a single uh, label class called class one. You can change the name of that if you need to uh, through the labeling tab. You can see that you have some options up here for making changes. And then you can also add additional uh, label properties or label classes as well uh, if you need to do that. And again, we'll go through that in a future demonstration. So those are, those are the primary, let me just turn that off. So those are the primary uh, functions found in the contents pane. Um, very similar to what we had in our map with a few new additions as well. It's also searchable as well, so you can search for items here. In the center part of your screen, this is gonna be uh, your, your viewing tab. Uh, right now, right, I only have, I have a fairly limited project here. I only have one map, so I'm viewing uh, just my two-dimensional map. 
your view can be different things, right? Typically it's a 2D view, but it could also be a, uh, a 3D view of your map. If you're creating uh, scenes in ArcGIS Pro, you could create uh, 3D scenes and be able to visualize those in this location. Uh, any models that you're building in Model Builder uh, can be displayed in this section. Uh, layouts that you're creating will show, show up here. Uh, so most of the time you're viewing a two-dimensional map, but keep in mind you have the ability to view other things as well. All right? And each time you view something, it's going to show up as a tab across the top of the interface, allowing you to very quickly switch between different views uh, as needed. And then on the far right-hand side is your catalog pane. This is basically where you manage your project. This is roughly analogous to Arc Catalog, <clears throat> but in a, it's a much more limited scope. So what you're seeing in the catalog pane are only resources that you've added to your current project. So all the maps that you've created that are part of your project, uh, I don't have any layouts here, but any layouts that you would have created would show up here. Uh, your database connections, uh, your server connections, folder connections, uh, basically all the resources that you add to a project will show up in this catalog pane. There are several tabs here. Project is gonna be the default. Uh, there's also a portal tab that allows you to access ArcGIS online content or portal content. There's a favorite section where you can add content uh, that will be present um, across all the projects that you use. So for example, you can add things like geodatabase connections, styles like you see here. And then these favorites will always be present in any project that you work with going forward. Right? And it saves you the the trouble of having to redefine those connections and, and resources every time you create a project. And then there's an add item here uh, that allows you to add additional uh, favorites as needed. So that is the project tab. Um, and, and that's kind of the, the interface, right? It's, it's composed of uh, the quick access toolbar, uh, the ribbon, uh, also your table of contents, your view, your catalog. And then of course we'll, we'll drill down, drill down into, um, a lot more detail on some of the future demonstrations that we'll do on some of these individual components and um, and give you more information uh, as we kind of go through the course. But uh, that's kind of all I wanted to show you right now was just to kind of give you a quick uh, overview of the ArcGIS Pro software. And, uh, and uh, so in future versions, we'll go into more detail. But uh, for now, thank you for joining me.